measure angles using a protractor. An angle has two lines that connect to create a vertex. This, now here we have two angles. One goes like that and one comes all the way around over here. We use an arc to clarify which angle we're talking about. We'll draw an arc right here. So now we know which we're talking about this angle. Then we would use a tool, which is a protractor, to have right here. A protractor measures the turn between both lines. The unit of measurement we use is degrees. A protractor tells us the number of degrees of an angle. Let's try some. Here we have an angle. Well, we know it must be less than 90 degrees because a right angle would be over here. So it's definitely an acute angle. Let's measure it using a protractor. To use a protractor, we have to make sure the ray is right on that zero line of our protractor. In the center of it, well, mind the little circle, you could have a T, sim T symbol in the center there. That has to be right on the vertex. So if we line that up, we can see that it's 40 degrees. 10, 20, 30, 40. It's 40 degrees. We have to count from zero to 40. We won't go 170, 160, 150, 140. Because that's not how we count. We go zero to 40. This acute angle is 40 degrees. Let's try another one. Now with this angle, we can see that it must be more than 90 degrees because our right angle would be over here. So this must be an obtuse angle. Let's measure it using our protractor again. We line it up. We can see that it's 120 degrees. We can count from zero to 120. So our, our obtuse angle is 120 degrees. My challenge to you is to measure the angles on the activity sheet in the link below using a protractor. Thanks.